When reading a teleprompter, do your best to see what the scripts are beforehand. If you can read over the scripts before you have to read them cold on a teleprompter, that's always the best option. A teleprompter can be good and bad because on the good side, you have all the material in front of you, so you know exactly what you're saying, but you also don't want to sound robotic. With teleprompters, sometimes people feel the need to present and use this voice of God that they kind of grew up hearing, but that's not always the best way to use teleprompter. You can use teleprompter to have a casual conversation. I remember the first executive producer I had when I was first starting out in television told me, don't stop. And so if you see a period, don't just pause <laughs> and do it as if you were reading it. Just keep going. And so from then on out, I, I never use periods. Get really good at getting curious. Get good at asking questions, at writing copy, at doing like a million live shots with no teleprompter. Then when you do get to the desk, it'll feel a little more natural. It'll feel like it'll come more easily to you. It's one thing to read a story in your mind, it's another to like engage with it. If you're reading strong writing from the teleprompter, if you're reading really powerful, impactful writing, it's gonna be easier to actually read it. So don't be afraid to make edits, to put something into your own voice, and always remember to refine your writing throughout your entire career. Being sure that you're as prepared as possible, so that includes the prep work beforehand. Even talking out the stories out loud, I'll do that. There's a few websites where you can try to read from a teleprompter at home, so I would definitely try to practice a few times before before you do it for the very first time. We all want to build our own style, actually go on this YouTube, improve your voice, and it just helps with articulation and really enunciating different words. I tend to race through my script, so it's something in my head I have to constantly tell myself, slow down, and when I watch the final product, it sounds just fine. If you read slowly, it gives you more time to be expressive, to use your storyteller voice to try and explain what is actually happening in the news, and it gives you time to ad lib and sometimes correct what may be a mistake in the prompter. When you go slower, you're also more intentional about what you're reading. So you'll be able to take the time to process through your brain, oh, this is a serious story, I need to make sure I have the tone right so that I'm delivering this in a way that's, that's sensitive. But if it's an upbeat story, then as you're reading it slower, you go, okay, wait, I can turn it up now. I can bring up the energy. So what happens if the prompter stops working? We have backup paper scripts in front of us here that we can use if something goes wrong. Right before I read a teleprompter, I'll just like get myself mentally prepared. And then, you know, it's just like reading a book, just going along with the lines, breathing, keeping in mind that at the end of the day, you're talking to people.